Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the new features of version 4 that was probably among one of our highest requested. I don't know if you've used version 3 or, or any other prior version, but if you wanted to drag a photo onto a photo box such as this one, and there was a frame around it, you couldn't do it. You would have to reposition all the layers, and then you could put your photo in it. Well now, with what we call transparent pixels, you're able to select through the transparent pixel. So on this frame, the center part is all transparent. So now if I drag my photo over, it will automatically fill into the photo box behind the frame. So you don't need to reposition your layers anymore to be able to reach your photo box underneath the frame. So yes, the pages are still created in layers and they work just the same. It's just now it's easier to manipulate your layers. So for example, I have this Butterfly Kisses. It is behind my frame and I'd really like to bring it forward. So you can see now I could select it through the frame as well and now I can use my layering tools to bring it forward. I can use the layer to the top. For demonstration purposes, I've brought these three flourishes onto this page. I have changed their colors so you could easily identify each one. I've simply done that by selecting it and using the mix and color um, feature, which you will love. There's other tutorials about that. But you can see I have these three different flourishes. One thing with selecting transparent pix through transparent pixels, you have to be a little more careful when you're selecting your object you want to move. And I found I got a little casual and when I grabbed something to move it. So I've had to be a little more precise now. So I can actually grab this gray flourish through, even though it's on the bottom layer, but through all these different colors. So you can see I can select it. Now, if it were back here, I could also see once it's selected, now anytime my cursor hovers over that embellishment, I can, it changes, and now I can click on it and drag it to wherever I need. So that is a little bit of a different change, but it does give you some nice features. I'm going to bring it back here now. You can tell it's selected, and now I can easily use my um, layering tools to bring it to the front. So it just allows you to manipulate, grab objects through different layers, and not worry about the transparent pixels or having to relayer everything so you can get to that bottom. So now I can still come right here and I can grab this pink one right here and bring that to the front or just reposition it so I can grab it here and move it now. So I'm not having to manipulate my layers or switch layers back and forth so much. So it is a good tool and you just have to remember to be more precise when you're grabbing your object to move it. So simply when I am doing something um, that's fine like this, I try and grab it or select it from a bigger section of the embellishment. So then it just gives me more chances that my cursor will really grab where I'm looking for it to. Um, I do like keeping my cursor just with a standard cursor, then I can grab it easy too. And once it's selected, it's really easy. If you have trouble selecting an object, you also know that you, you can simply drag over the embellishment and then it's highlighted or selected here and then you can simply grab on it too. One other tip for selecting embellishments is once you have it selected, if it is mingled with a bunch of other small embellishments, you can simply use your zoom in to your page found in the lower left corner and you can simply click in several times and you'll realize you'll be able to grab a hold of your embellishments much easier. You'll also, once you have it selected, you could use your arrow keys to reposition and move an object. I think once you become more familiar with selecting through transparent pixels and how it works, you'll realize what a time saver it is and how much easier it makes your projects. One thing also I need to uh, mention, that if you're working with a text box, it does not, you cannot select through a text box. So it means we have to be a little tidier. Well, it means I need to be a little tidier if you have a text here. So if I have my text here, I'll make it a little larger so you can see it, I cannot drag. So if you have your text, you cannot drag through your text box. So I could not select the screen embellishment. I need to tidy up my text box, which I am not good at. So I'm going to try and get into better habits there. And now I can select, but you just can't select through the actual text box. You also cannot select through a photo box or if you've used a shape, um, the frame shape. Let me just show you what I'm referring to. This 
picture frame shape here, whether it's in a photo shape or shape shapes, you cannot select through the center of that either. However, the embellishments all have transparent pixels, so you'll learn what a great feature that is. Happy mixing!